Hey guys, I Horror Movies here, and welcome back. Let's play Lunar Tree Tower Complete. We're actually back in Horror right now because I forgot that there's a Brahma here that we can get that I, can, that I didn't get before because I was pretty much out of time and, well, forgot. So anyway, let's go to, we have to go to the Drunken Dojo and get a Brahma from here. I, is this the right one? I have no idea. Actually, I think it is. So, just, uh, this guy should have the Brahma, yes. Um, no, she will probably pass on that one. And you're still drunk. Oh, we did James Bromide 1, feast your eyes. And how the hell did you get that? Dude, you're such a, you're such a pervert. <laughs> that is very, very true, hero. Let's see, that was James Bromide 1. Here we go, Gypsy Feast. And hey, Gene does drink, so there you go. Is she old enough to drink? Well, this is an RPG, so age limits don't really matter, right? But I would think they wouldn't anyway. Now that we're done with that, um, there's actually one item in here also I was explaining before that I did not get in the main game that I will go back and get now. So let's go ahead and go off and do that. Let's see, after, we, after that Brahmai, there are still two more to get. There's one in Takara, which I'll get in a second, and there's also one more in Lionhead, which I will get later. So that's the bonus dungeon that we'll go to later. So don't worry about that one for right now. So let's go up in here and get this chest up here for Rubber Boots. Um, okay. Why, I don't know. But, actually, there is a crazy expi explanation, explanation for that. Um, let's see, yeah, if you equip the yellow pajamas, the Gordon doll, which, who has a Gordon doll, by the way? Um, no one, actually. Not for right now, anyway. Um, let's see, where is said Gordon doll, by the way? Um, let's see, yeah, right here. Yeah, if you equip the uh, rubber boots, Gordon doll, and yellow pajamas on one character, what'll happen is, um, while you're in a dungeon, you'll triple the amount of time hero can sprint in a dungeon. Its normal sprint lasts about three seconds or so, and it increases actually to about 10 seconds or so. So pretty much your dungeon sprints become dungeon marathons, really. But the only bad thing is that your character will be asleep in battle. So that's kind of a bad effect there. I'll probably show it off just for fun in an earlier dungeon. Just, yeah, just show it off for fun. But there you go. But see, yeah, I totally missed those in the main game. I'm, I apologize for that. But hey, got them now. Better late than never. Alright, then now we're done in Horum for right now. So let's get the hell out of here. And let's make our last stop in Takar. I have to remember how to get there. Actually, I already do. I don't even know why I said I didn't, because I do. I'm rambling again, because I feel like it. I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, I'm just getting paranoid. Because they're watching me. Anyway, minus all my crazy, drunken, not drunken rambling aside, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Just ignore me. Just watch the game. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just having fun with this right now. I really am. Okay, anyway, now let's go back over to Takar. Let's just loop around back this way to Moribia. And then make our way towards Takar. Haven't been here in quite the long time. We have, of course, we haven't needed to until now, so. Let's see, Takar is. Uh, let's see, there's Noda, so we're already close. Actually, yeah, Takar's before Noda, so I wouldn't keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, yeah, Takar is. Um, let's see, right over this way? Uh, should be, yes, just cross the lake over here, and attack hard right over here, actually, as you can see, um, right here is actually the Haunted Mansion, we can actually sneak back into here if you want to. Okay, where do you pop out of? We pop out, actually, back down here with all the statue, I don't really know why I used that, I felt like it. So, there you go. So anyway, yeah, back into attack car, let's go ahead and just pop up back here through the back gate, um, the gate should be open by now, I would hope, anyway. See, and hey, we are back in attack car, happy music! A very annoying person in this vicinity. Um, Ruby? Ronfar? Um, yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. Well, why are you looking for said person? Claims to be a champion of justice who becomes so violent as bounce of criminals. Leo? Is it he? Oh, Mysterious Bromide. It is Leo. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> and then, um. <laughs> Has a very strong word with him. Way to go, Leo. <laughs> now, let's see, let's see the end of this Brahmine while we have the time. Um, wow, I have a shit ton of Brahmines, don't I? I'm um, here to Mysterious Brahmine, Shining Justice. Yeah, that guy looks a little bit familiar. Don't know if it's just me, but looks a little familiar. Yeah, it, it's Leo. We've already been over this. Alright then, so how many Brahmines do we have as of right now? We have... Uh, one, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
100, and then Heroes Brahma will make 23 Brahma. So, again, that one we didn't did line hit, which won't be later, so don't worry about it. Alright, then now that we are done here, um, I guess it's time to go off for a dungeon or something. Actually, no, not yet. We actually want to go back over to Noda. Okay, let's just go back over to East Noda, West Noda, doesn't really matter. It's Noda. It's the same thing. I don't know if I can actually get there. Um, yeah, here we go. So yeah, Noda is actually the first main thing we have to do in the epilogue, as I was playing before in the last episode. Um, let me actually flip back in my handy nanny guide book thing. Um, yeah, Brahmides, I already got them. Actually, I actually didn't even mention this before. The reason why we're getting all these Brahmides is, um... Actually, do I want to show it off? I'll, I'll show it off later. But yeah, the reason why we're getting these is because, um... If you remember way back when, um, back in vain, actually, um... There's a guy in the transporter out there that leads to the, um... What you would call it, the um, Cave of Trial there, who's actually collecting Brahmide. So, if you show him all of them, we'll get a little bonus congratu congratulations from him. So, just keep that in mind. Alright, then, yeah, we want to go into East Node, actually, which we're here right now. And let's go ahead and talk to people around here. Let's see what's going on around here. We haven't been here in forever. And find virtually anything. Ooh, sounds like fun. And yeah, <laughs> here's pretty much around the dot with that one. I mean, we have 50,000 silver, but that's probably not even enough to cover. Okay, let's see, there's one house in particular I actually want to go into, which is not this one, it's empty, so I claim it as mine now. So, whoever lives there before, sorry, but it's mine. GTFO, noobs. Okay, anyway, let's go, in, let's go into this house right here. Is this the right one? I don't think so. Actually, um, I'm trying to remember where the hell I have to go here. Uh, well, actually, this guy right here is very, very important, and yes, we are looking for the Dragon Eye Jewels, and Doss Thou knows about him. Oh, apparently he does. Well, that's convenient. Uh huh. Oh, after the wedding, who's getting married? Huh. Well, we'll find out more about that in a little in a little while. Actually, let's go. Well, let's go here for right now, because we have Julia. And actually, we don't even know this is Julia, but it is. So. And yeah, your dress looks fantastic. So there you go. Well, I like to have you, but we're full-on party members, so. Oh, for a favor? Oh, of course. A message for a, nan for a man named Kyle. He lives in West Noda. Okay. Oh, how sweet. His name is Julia. Okay, well, hey, no problem. Let's go ahead and go over and do that right now. Okay, let's cross the big old bridge here into West Noda. Yeah, apparently uh, Julia's not marrying Kyle, and Kyle seems apparently pretty beat up about it. Because, yeah, actually, we did talk to Julia and Kyle before when we were here in the first time around, but... Well, it, yeah. So there you go. Alright then, let's see. Let's talk to Kyle, who's out yeah, getting drunk in the pub. Like a certain other Kyle that I might know from a thousand years ago. Hint, hint. Anyway, I, I don't even know where the hint came from. Oh, jeez. Well, drinking, drinking problems... Is, oh, drinking's not gonna help your problems. She was so good for you. Do you mean Julia? Well, of course he does. And yeah, that is Kyle. And yeah, we just talked to her... Um, yeah. So yeah, now you know she loves you forever, and what are you going to do? Um, let's see, now what you can do is, um, yeah, choose a middle option. You're not, you're not giving up, are you? If you love her and she loves you, it's meant to be, so there you go. I'm seeing that a lot lately. I've noticed in the last few episodes, there you go. I don't know, I, I, it's just, it just happens. So, there you go. That was on purpose, by the way. I don't know why I pointed. I just did. She's marrying the mayor of West Nona. Well, sounds like he's marrying, well, he's marrying her for power and not love. And yeah, if she loves you, again, yeah, she loves you, you love her, then get married. Yeah, what do you want? You want to be with Julia, of course, don't you? Uh, yeah, so don't tell her that, dumbass. Oh, that can't be good. Oh, no! Um, yeah, you just said that, uh, never, never mind. Um, we're gonna, cra we're gonna crash the wedding. <laughs> so let me see, we're gonna have Hero and Rawfar Star and Wedding Crashers 2. God, I, I didn't picture that now. Today is an auspicious occasion, citizens of Noda. Uh, is that the right word, auspicious, to use in this case? I don't know. It's no big deal, don't worry about it. Julia and... Really? Oh, Romeo, Julia, get it? <laughs> yeah, I see what the game did there. Sort of, a little bit, yes. Oh, jeez, dude. Do you love her that much? Wait, you don't, haha. <laughs> You're just marrying her for power. Yeah, you treat her as a possession, not as a human being. So that mean, pretty much means you're a dick. 
Dost thou love him? No, but thou must! No, but thou must love Kyle. And you swear, none on your life, bitch! Actually, no, Julia's actually a very, very nice person, so... And we'd have crashed the wedding with a very epic intro. I kind of wish we, did, we could have done more with Julia and Kyle early in the game, but I, I do like how we did to do it now. We actually did to be a part of both their lives and their plots in the game, so... A nice little touch there, I appreciate that. And yeah, hold me tightly, kiss me deeply, and get a room while you're at it. You just jump from the bridge of the ship? That's extremely dangerous, by the way. Well, she made it, so there you go. Oh, hey, hey, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that's true, he is. Oh, a gift, ooh. We did the Rememberizer crystal. I hope you'll find this useful, but what does it do? Use a special magic to store memories. Ooh, sounds like fun. Simple, whenever you visit a location that holds vivid memories for you, the Rememberizer shines, and your memories of that place are stored within it. Oh, wow, that's pretty sweet. And of course, I'll be getting all the memories for that, too, so... It's a little more tedious than um than the brown mines, but I'll I'll get them all anyway because I, I have to. So there you go. Those those words again. Might as well, I can't help it. And <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Uh oh. Please don't kill anybody, Mr. Julius Father. I hope you guys have a happy life together and you guys deserve it. So get off my boat. This is my boat, not yours. Get your own boat. Actually, this is pretty much the only well, giant ship in the world, which is ours, so... <laughs> yeah, I raspberry. Um, I apologize for that. <laughs> no, I know. Just kidding. Or do I? I, I? I don't know. Anyway, now that we are done with that... Let's actually... Let's, let's go back into Noda. Um, let's just loop around under the bridge here. Because that one day we talked to before, who didn't want to talk to us until after the wedding. That's more info for us, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find out where I want to do and what I want to... What I... I don't even know. Anyway, we're back in Noda. We were just here. Let's talk to this guy again, Turban Man! And yeah, we do want to hear it, so please tell us, faithful turban-wearing dude. Okay, made a camp in a thick forest near Zotto. Okay. Just done with some old ruins and found a dragon angel. Well, hot damn. But where are the... Oh, say where else said ruins, but yeah, this is near Zotto. So, yeah, there you go. So let's go ahead and make our way over there then. Um, we're fully healed, uh, of course. Yeah, this is actually one of the first dungeons we can go to in the epilogue. That's one of the ones I recommend going to first because it's the one that's one that opens. Uh, um, well, not not that it uh, opens up first, but it's one of the easier ones in my opinion, I think. So let's go ahead and make our way down over there. Yeah, it's near Zada, which is actually right down over here. So let's let's, let's land around right here. There you go. Yeah, I want to land over this way because we'll pop out right at the um right outside here. So, with that, hey, the Rememberizer's glowing. Cool. And, yeah, you guys remember what this event is. So, yeah. And, yeah, for some reason now that we have the Rememberizer crystal, the water's been drained, and we can go into the water ruins. So, let's go ahead and take the feeding here for right now. Yeah, yeah, the funny thing is, yeah, for some reason, yeah, this part isn't op doesn't open up until we did the Rememberizer crystal. I have no idea why. I just painted the Rememberizer crystal. Let's go ahead and show that off. Um, yeah, see where it says current disc? You actually need to be on, um... Well, you had to have that disc in to watch the FMV. So you can use that to watch any FMV throughout the game. Um, yeah, we have Moonlit Swim here. So yeah, see, actually, um, actually to the right where it says disc 1, that's the one that we need. So if I want to use, I uh, want to show that off, just put in disc 1 or the disc 1 ISO and go and show that off there. So I'm not going to show them all. I'm not going to show them. I'll get them, of course. So actually, I might do that next episode. Maybe not. I don't know. It, it's a little tedious, so I'll think about that later. Actually, I may do the Water Ruins. Next. I have no idea. Um, so, yeah, that's really about it for me, guys. Actually, what I'll do, I'll actually meet, meet you guys right back here for next time on Let's Play Lunar 2 Terrible Complete. This has been I Heart Movies Enough, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching. I Heart Movies? Movies. That's my name. I, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.